Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll be downloading top five crazy Android app. This is July and part two series. And if you have missed my previous video, don't worry about it. I'll link in the description below for you guys. I'll throw a card on the corner for you as well. You can check it out. Those apps are awesome. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And thank you so much for my viewers and subscriber who's been helping the channel grow faster. I really appreciate that one. And all the apps will be linked in the description below for you guys. So you can check it out, download it and completely free, available, some on Play Store, some on GitHub as well, so you can go check it out. And if you have any questions, by the way, guys, you can comment down below, I'll definitely give you a hand or any sort of guidance. And for disclaimer purpose, this video is for education purpose only. And now that's out of the way, let's move on to this app. Number one, it's called Palette. So Palette is completely free. If you are one of those person who wants to tweak your device to like, you know, to the next level, then guess what, you need one of these apps. So if you have seen somebody with a different home screen, a different layout and everything, guess what? This is a great app. The only downside of this app is some or majority of the thing I've seen it is definitely uh, they will ask you for pay uh, for payment as well. But again, it's just for the icon pack. For example, if I want to get one of them and I can go see what launcher do you need and what sort of a package for icon package you need. If you click on one of them, then you will see it will come up with this one. It's but you don't have to download the icon packages. Well, you can go select whatever package is available for free and you can customize to your level as well. So this is one of the great apps. And this is just a reference guide for you guys. So you can go, you know, uh, download that uh, launcher, whatever launcher you need. And by the way, I've recently done a launcher video as well. You can go check it out, what sort of a launcher you can get it. As again, completely free as well. And you'll be able to customize your device to the next level. Okay, number two is called Chrome Desktop. So what it does, it gives you an access to be able to go and remotely connect the desktop. I don't want to do a demonstration here at the moment, but uh, if you sign in with the Google account, you go into Chrome, download extension, which is the Chrome extension, remote desktop, and then the initial setup is uh, kind of fiddly. But once you get it, you have a remote connection for your device. So you can access that from anywhere around the world as well. That's one beauty of having this Chrome desktop. So this is good. Again, available in Play Store, completely free, and you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna love this one. Okay, number three is called TC Slim. So TC Slim, it is a great application to install. Why? Because it gives you a next level access for your Android device. Uh, if you have ever used an, uh, any sort of uh, iPhone device or any sort of Apple device that if you install an application for the first time, it will ask you whether you want to give a permission for location, a permission for you to track it or not. But in Android, it's missing out. So what it gives you here, it gives you the similar feature, an Android device that you can see, you can track, you can see what application is tracking what in terms of users. For example, uh, this is just an example for you. Microsoft Launcher, you can see what type of tracker liabilities is doing, what sort of things is monitoring in the background. Does you have internet access or not? What sort of analytic you have? You can manage data, request data, and a whole lot of things you can, you get access to your phone as well. So that means you have a more control of your own data. For example, if you have installed any sort of a third-party application from third-party app store, then you don't know what sort of, uh, you know, monitoring is, is getting, what sort of uh, access is getting, is anything tracking in the background or not, but by installing this app, you will remove that. So that means you can actually turn off all the things. For example, if you want to turn off the monitoring, I can turn off the monitoring as well. If I want to turn off internet access, as you can see, it's automatically disabled as well. So if I want to turn it on, it enables as well. If you don't want to do that, you can just turn that internet access off. And guess what? That particular application, what you are managing, will have no access. So this is the one of the great and must have app for your Android device. Now, number four, this is a great application. If you are, some one of the person who wants to uh, do airdrop a Mac device, like for example, I use Mac all the time, as well as I use Windows and Linux and all sorts of PC. But um, being an uh, Android user, as well as an iOS user, I have to share files. And the best way of sharing files is airdrop if you have Mac device. And you know how hard it is to share any files from being Android to your Mac. So now if you use one of these, this is an extension for your Mac. So if you're going to get up, you'll be able to see this is called near drop. So near drop gives you similar access that means you'll be able to send any files to your Mac and then the Mac will recognize an airdrop feature. So you'll be able to send files between that as well. So this is a great extension for your Mac. This is not for your Android device, but it's you're going to love that one. Give it a try. And then by the way, you can comment down below 
if you like this one or if it actually worked or not. Okay, number five is called Amarok. A-M-A-R-O-K. Amarok, it is a great and next level app. Why? You can hide anything. I'm not talking about hiding things, but I'm talking about you can set up a hidden folders, uh, set up a hidden apps, uh, more settings and things like, for example, if I have, uh, this is just my test folder, so in my storage, emulated and zero and test, so I've created a folder in the file manager and then when you set it up you can see as you can uh, select a hidden folder as well you go back in so this is my test folder you can select anything and guess what you will be like you'll be hiding that folder so if you don't want any certain particular files uh, that you you know whoever you give your device to guess what you can use this one and you're gonna love this one this is one of the great great apps okay that sums up all total top five crazy Android app for 2024 and this is the part two and by the way guys this is genius 6 signing out peace